Hey guys, Larry here, and today I've got a great new DSLR called the Canon Rebel T4i. It's also known as the EOS 650D in Europe, and I really like some of the latest additions the Canon engineers have included in this 18 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor equipped camera. After getting my hands on the T4i, I can tell you that I'm really happy with the movie mode auto focus tracking, the fast focusing in still mode, and I really like the touchscreen LCD, but I'll get to more of that later. The T4i has several high-end features you might expect, like the full HD 1080p video capture at 30 frames per second, Canon's new Digic 5 image processor, which is great for capturing images quickly and processing up to five full frames per second in burst mode, and an extended ISO range that goes from 100 up to 25,600. But there are quite a few features you might not expect, and both still shooters and videographers will find a lot to like here. For starters, the focus system is improved over previous models in a couple of ways. It features nine cross-type autofocus points, including a precise dual-cross f2.8 center point for consistent, accurate focusing. The hybrid CMOS AF system combines both phase and contrast detection focusing technologies for consistent, expedited focusing and predictive subject tracking when working in live view. What that meant for me in testing was that grabbing focus and snapping a shot was amazingly fast. And focus system improvements will have videographers everywhere adding the T4i to their shortlist. It has a newly introduced Movie Servo AF system. The autofocus system allows continuous autofocus and tracking of moving subjects while recording in HD video. And if you're using one of Canon's new STM lenses, you'll get some really smooth, quiet autofocusing while you're filming. I was testing the T4i with the Canon 40mm f2.8 pancake lens, and in a quiet environment, I had to have my ear within an inch of the camera before I could even hear the focus motor. While we're talking about capturing video, I want to mention a few interesting things that the T4i offers that can give your videos better quality or just make them more fun. This camera allows you to shoot in video snapshot mode and record a collection of short clips for a highlight reel in a single file. If you're looking for good audio quality, you can use the built-in stereo microphone or use an external mic via the three and a half millimeter plug. You can even adjust your sound levels to fit your needs right in the camera. One thing I really liked is that you can change the autofocus point while you're filming just by touching the LCD screen. Now I'm not used to shooting with a DSLR that has a touch screen, so I usually take my time getting used to the menus and buttons of a new camera so I can control things easily. But the beauty of the T4i's touch screen is that you can just touch on the setting you want to adjust instead of finding your way there through menus and buttons. It's really a nice touch. The LCD is a very angle, three inch, clear view screen. This means that you can choose from a wide variety of viewing and shooting angles. Not only is this helpful for shooting in tight and unusual spaces, but coupled with the high resolution of the screen, it's also great for reviewing your images and video, even in direct sunlight. Personally, I like the intuitive nature of the image playback. Just swipe to move through captured images and pinch to zoom. It's very intuitive. The only downside to a touchscreen LCD is getting fingerprints on it if you're using it for live view image preview for stills or video capture or image playback but if you keep a lens cloth with you, it shouldn't be much of a problem. I'm actually okay with a few smudges because I primarily use the optical viewfinder for framing my images and I don't do a ton of video, which would necessitate using the LCD viewfinder. Of course, pros will like the full range of manual controls and high-end features, but pros and amateurs alike will appreciate some of the automated modes the T4i offers. Scene Intelligent Mode combines several of Canon's imaging technologies. This creates a seamless auto mode that analyzes the scene you're shooting, and it applies techniques to give you the best possible exposure. Handheld Night Scene Mode and Multi-Shot Noise Reduction are a couple of different ways the T4i combines up to four separate exposures of the same scene. These modes work to reduce or eliminate camera shake or image noise that results from a longer, low light exposure. And the HDR backlight control mode simulates a high dynamic range image 
by rendering highlights and shadows in a controlled manner, giving you a wider dynamic range in a single image. The Rebel T4i is compatible with Canon's full range of EF and EFS lenses, and it's available as a body only, in a kit with an 18 to 55 millimeter IS lens, or in a kit with the 18 to 135 f3.5 to 5.6 image stabilized STM lens. That's one of those new stepping motor lenses that does the super quiet autofocusing for video I talked about earlier. And although I haven't had hands on with the 18 to 135 yet, I'm looking forward to it because besides the video optimized quiet autofocusing, it also has dynamic image stabilization specifically designed for HD video work. As I mentioned, I got to use the 40mm f2.8 pancake lens. It features an spherical lens and coated lens elements to reduce flare and ghosting. It's surprisingly small, and since the T4i itself isn't especially heavy, I can imagine filming longer stretches with this kind of setup. The camera delivers great performance for video and still shooters at a very reasonable price. I found it difficult to find much wrong with the Canon T4i, although I will admit I'm not a fan of Canon lens caps. With a great 18 megapixel DSLR, the Canon Rebel T4i, I'm Larry Becker. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.